This video shows a 3D curve sketching system called I Love Sketch. Let's get started by opening its virtual sketchbook. Navigation involves the combined zoom and rotate, pan, tumble, and dolly zoom. The user can create NURBS curves by multi-stroke sketching. Each stroke is approximated by a cubic Bezier curve. The stroke curves settle automatically when time passes a certain period since the last stroke. Alternately, the user can apply the period gesture for immediate curve settlement. Repair strokes over two tangent curves connect them smoothly. If a new settled curve starts tangentially to an existing curve, they're smoothly connected automatically. The user can go back to the intermediate result by applying the roll gesture. A pause after the first stroke rotates the paper automatically according to the stroke pattern, medium arc, small arc, or line. The user can throw away the sketch by tearing the page from the upper left corner. In the single view symmetric epipolar method, the user draws the projected images of a pair of symmetric curves with respect to the center plane from a single viewpoint by using two receding lines to the vanishing point. Then, the system creates a pair of 3D curves. For the two view epipolar method, the user draws two projected images of a 3D curve from different viewpoints. The system then creates a unique 3D curve. The small lasso gesture activates an axis widget on either a 3D curve, an axis, or curve intersection points. The scratch out gesture deactivates the axis widget. The right angle gesture crossing the axis widget defines a planar sketch surface spanned by the two crossed axes. When the user chooses one of three orthographic planes, the system tumbles automatically for a better viewing angle for sketching on the selected plane. The axis-aligned line gesture crossing the axis widget defines one of three orthographically extruded surfaces from the selected 3D curve as a sketch surface. If the line gesture starts at the origin of the axis widget, it defines a direction parallel to the picture plane, which is used as the extrusion direction of an oblique extruded surface, which then serves as a sketch surface. If a tumble stops and the viewing angle isn't good enough for sketching on the sketch surface, the mode changes automatically to the single view symmetric epipolar method. Another type of implicit mode change is based on erasing the sketch surface. This is useful when the user wants to use two curve methods from the same view used for the current sketch surface method. We present an example of sketching a simple 3D airplane where all our 3D curve sketch methods are shown by using the axis widget and implicit mode change technique previously explained.
By turning the page from the lower left corner, the 3D sketch is saved. Continuing to turn the pages of the virtual sketchbook makes it possible for the user to leaf through the previous works.